Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can host a website so that it can be you know published and it can be public online or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, this is the simple website here. If I double click on this index.html, as you can see, this is a very basic and very ugly looking website, but you know, it serves its purpose. So I'll just uh, show you how you can upload this and make it public or make it online. So we'll use something called GitHub as uh, if you're not living under a rock, you'll know what GitHub is. So you don't need to do anything. Uh, you don't need to learn Git or you don't need to learn how to commit or push. You can just make your website public or publish your website on GitHub very easily these days. So basically how it works is you have these files here, right? You upload these files to GitHub or any other host that you have. And then you point a domain name to this website or this IP address. That is what basically is done. So if your website is called, let's say, myname.com. So this domain name, you need to buy this from someone and you need to point it to wherever you have uploaded your file. So we're not going to the details, but GitHub allows us to do everything of those things for free. But the only catch is you don't get to choose your own, you know, domain name like this. What you'll have to do is you'll have to pick something like my name dot github dot io slash your website. So this is what your domain name will look like and everything else will be handled by GitHub. So let's get started and open GitHub. If you don't have a GitHub account, open your GitHub account and then you will come to the home page like this. If you don't know how to do that, check the links in the description below. It will show you how you can create a GitHub account and so on. Now click on new and give a name to your project. And this is what will be added to the URL guys. So make sure you name it correctly. So I'll call it my first website. Okay. Now you can make this repository private or public does not matter. Your website will be public nonetheless. And then just click on create repository. Now, once this is done, if you know how to use Git, you can push your code using these commands here. But if you don't, it's fine. Uh, GitHub has made it very easy. You can just click here, uploading an existing file. Click this. And here, click on choose your files or you can just drag and drop here. So I'll click on here, choose your files and go back to my project directory. It's my website and I'll upload everything. Click control A to select everything and then you can click on open. And as you can see, your files are being uploaded. And you don't need to write anything here. Now this is ready to get. If you don't understand Git, leave it as it is and just click on commit changes. Now your files are being processing. Let's wait for a minute and yeah, it is done. Now we are ready to make it public. Just click on settings here. And in this code and automation section, click on pages. And here, don't do anything else. Just below this branch section, you need to click a branch which you want to make, you know, public or which you want to publish. So by default, there is a main branch. Now just click on save. And as you can see, GitHub pages source save message will be shown. Now your page is public. Now click here to reload your repository. And okay, I think you need to wait for a few minutes because uh, it'll take some, you know, some time to point a domain name to your code. So this is a domain name, right? So it will point something. Uh, let's say what was the name of my project? It was my first website, right? So it will do your username dot github dot com slash your first website or something like that. Let's reload this again and let's see if it has worked. Okay, it's not yet done. So let's wait for a few more seconds. Let's reload this. Okay, where is my old one? Yeah, let's reload this again. I hope it is done by now. Yeah, it is done by now. As you can see, it was required one minute ago. Now I can click on this. And as you can see, this is where I have it locally in my, uh, you know, computer. And this is now public. 